What's going on, Motor City Sports Talk? We in the building, and uh, let's talk some Michigan football, man. Um, apparently, Shea Patterson wasn't named a captain, uh, and I, I don't know if it was Harbaugh who named him or the team vote for him. I'll link an article in the description. Uh, I've been moving a lot. I read some of the article, but um, couldn't find that part. So I'm not sure if they vote on. Usually, the team vote on captains. I don't know how college go. Or the University of Michigan, but he ain't no captain. They named three other guys captains, and Harbaugh did some damage control. He named him an alternate captain with another player. And going into his fourth year, second with the Wolverines, which it was some speculation that he was gonna come out last year's draft. And to be honest, I can't really get a gauge on him, but I'm more excited just with the eye test about Dylan McCaffrey. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like what he brings to the table. Um, but Shea Patterson, he brings some good things to the table, but he never had a chance last year. Um, they, you know, for the first time in a long time, I had never seen the Michigan offensive line play so pedestrian. That's like not, that's like Wisconsin not having a good offensive line. Ain't that crazy? You know, we didn't have a good offensive line last year. And also, our offense was just so, so prehistoric. They didn't have a lot of spread principles. And remember Shea Patterson, I was watching him play against Cal a couple years ago. And they had a lot of spread uh, principles in the old Miss. And he was throwing it around, three-step, five-drip step, and getting and getting the ball out of his hands. And that's what um, I thought they were going to do in Michigan. But they got him lining up under center and, you know, the eye formation. You rarely see a lot of teams run the eye formation these days, college and NFL. Like, predominantly, that's their base defense or – two tight ends and and Jim Harbaugh is now giving up the reins to old boy from uh uh Godly with a Gaddy Godly Godly or whatever his name is from Alabama and hopefully they bring some some more spread open principles but uh it kind of bothers you that a quarterback that's going into a senior year um and supposed to be arguably one of your uh best players and shit he can get a push for the Heisman if he do well is not a captain um what does that say? Uh, if I'm looking at the NFL and I know he got NFL aspirations, I'm looking at it as, um, he, you know, he ain't no leader. And he got character issues or he don't have a good rapport. He ain't forming camaraderie with his teammates. So they ain't a good look at all. But then again, you got to remember this. He just got to the program last year from Ole Miss. He ain't been 10 toes down with these guys. It's kind of like uh, your boys that you grew up in the neighborhood with. Some of them you grew apart with, but some of them you stay friends for a long time with. And if y'all meet new friends and go to high school, y'all meet new people or you meet new people on the way, you gonna get a benefit to your doubt to your day one. So at the end of the day, I, I read not a lot into it, but people gonna overblow it. And also you got the situation where he's sharing time with Dylan McCaffrey this year, cause Harbaugh out here making promises to every player on the team. But he ain't grew up in the program. So a lot of guys that's juniors and seniors, they 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 probably don't really, you know, funk sway with him. They probably just like, eh, I don't really got a feel for him. Or I don't like him, you know. So you really don't know. It's different from when you eating oodles and noodles as a freshman in your dorm with uh, you know, with the dudes you got here with. Cause I remember when I was in college, you know what I'm saying? My dorm mate, just cause I was from Detroit. He would lock his fucking shit up. He would take his TV, lock it up. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? He said, yeah, he admitted to me, yeah, I thought you was on some uh, some scurvy shit. I said, nigga, I'm on some scurvy shit. I'm from Detroit, right? And I got to come back to this dorm every day. How, how the fuck do that look? Do you put two and two together? You know, but that's just how it is. And if you, you know, so Shea Patterson, maybe he ain't. The, the friends with everybody or whatever he is, the quarter, quarterback, but I don't read much into it. If he ball out, everything going to be forgot. But if he don't ball out, if homeboy don't ball out, oh, you're going to hear all about it. You're going to hear all about it. Oh, see, he had leadership issues and the offensive line didn't block for him. That's why they didn't vote him as a captain. And that's why he not watching. You know, winning cures everything. You know, you look with the Lakers. You know, they ran into the 4 Pistons. When they was winning, you know, even though Shaq studded up on, 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 I mean, Kobe studded up on Shaq and got pieced up early in his career, they was able to mask a lot of those issues. They was able to mask that shit. 
But when uh, but when it when it came down to uh, when they when it look when winning when winning fell off, and when it came down to it, then that's when they broke apart. You know, that's when they broke apart. You know, and if, if Shea Patterson win, and he a Heisman candidate, which I think if Michigan is successful, he put up good numbers this year in this offense, he will be. People ain't gonna remember he ain't no captain. Your captain don't necessarily be the best player of your team, no way. And every quarterback ain't a leader. That's what people need to get out their mind. Every quarterback ain't a leader. For real, man. But hey, Motor City Sports Talk, let me know how you're feeling in the comment section, man. I'm going through the comments, man. Had to find some time to do so. But don't forget, me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video quest, hit me up, man. Twitter, or well, email and Twitter the quickest way to get in contact with me, man. Engage me on Twitter. Add me. Ask me questions, man. I want to get uh, active on the Twitter account, man. Appreciate the love, support. Keep sharing the video. Go blue.